Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we have another Creature Caster release. And which one is this? Ah, it's the Lord of Slaughter. I didn't even know because there's a stack of these. I've got such a backlog at this point. I mean, even though I put up these videos every day, it just keeps piling up. I can't get through it all. And I'm sure some of you would love to help, but no, it's mine and it's all mine and I'm not going to share. Anyway. Let's take a look at what's inside this box. So, it's been a while. I haven't built any big creature caster models in a while. Looking forward to this. Not that I've finished painting any of the other ones I've got. Nice detailed base. And I'm going to take a wild guess. You could probably fit it on a 50 millimeter base. Yep. If you want it off the ground, which I do. I don't like having them sullied on the tabletop. Especially if I had to take the time to actually paint the suckers. All right, what do we got in here? Stuff! Oh, yeah. Lots of little resin bits to clean. Oh, crap. All right, well, here we go. We've got the main body itself. Dang, look at the detail there. Extreme close-up. Yeah, you really cannot complain about the quality of Creature Caster's models. Really, really sharp, crisp details. Can't say I can complain about that. I believe the Lord of Slaughter here has a wingless option as well. I could be wrong. I know there was at least one model like that. He's got the two-part wings, so it looks like what we're going to do is... If I can figure out which is which. I'm going to take them, and those don't go together. More like that. Big wings. Big, big wings. All right, so we have those two. Let's set those to the side. We've got some interesting option bits here. Let's take a look at the heads. If I can, there we go. So you have almost like a skull mask and then you have a more traditional demon skull face. Personally, I like the face mask. It gives me a bit of a Darksiders vibe and that's what I painted for my King of War. So I think I might err with the mask and I went on to paint the face either. So, But you do have that option. Speaking of options, as I fiddle my way through everything in front of me here. You've got some options for weapons as well. So being the Lord of Slaughter, he obviously is going to have some big honking weapons. I've got a nice demonic looking blade here. Eyeballs and teeth for days. Same thing with his axe. Gives me Scarbrand vibes for some reason. But then there's also, he's got these crazy finger tonfa things. I'm kind of tempted to go with those. Might be kind of cool. If this is the model, ah, it is the model I'm thinking of. Okay, I wasn't wrong. He does have an option to have his wings replaced. And I think I might do that. I think I might actually just to do something different and buck the trend because it's not like I haven't built a bunch of winged demons from Creature Caster yet. But you could go either way. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the Tonfa and wingless option. It's less for me to paint that way. <laughs> but these are pretty cool. We've got what I'm assuming are the legs, because those look like hooves. That doesn't work. So there should be a top upper part of the leg. There we go. Could be a decent sized model. These should be his arms slash shoulders. Big multi scold joints. That's kind of cool. For his armor there. Interesting way to have serrated armor. These must be his forearms. I'm noticing a theme. Huh. These must also be his forearms. Maybe one set is for the Tonfa blade things and then the other's for the typical blades. And then we have a pair of horns. I'm going to guess that these should go somewhere on the head. No. 
I'm looking at the heads, but I'm not seeing any contact points for them. Interesting. All right, maybe they go on the wings. It could be like at the tips of the wings, possibly. All right, I'm going to start building. This one actually doesn't look too complex, thankfully. So hopefully we'll get him done in no time and be able to show you something soon. Get all this mess cleaned up. So here is our Lord of Slaughter all put together. And admittedly, since I went with the option of not putting those wings on, he does look a little bit smaller at first glance here. Getting a typical human model for display purposes, you can see he's still pretty big. He's not exactly, you know, tiny little dude. So I went ahead and grabbed some other creature caster models that I thought might help you get a better understanding of just the size of our Lord of Slaughter here. So... Oh gosh, I already forgot his name. <laughs> I just built this guy too. Dang it. I don't the little 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 baron. I don't know what he's called. But I went ahead and grabbed the Lord of Malice, who I would say is pretty comparable in size. Obviously, the wings do lend themselves a bit more volume to the model. So if that's something that you're really looking for and you don't have a ton of giant winged demons, by all means, you know. It's totally worth putting them on. I just thought it'd be interesting to do something different, and I also went with a weird scything, tonfa, claw, gyver blade type things here. He's got some really clean butt cheeks. They're really smooth. <laughs> it's really weird. But anyway, um, also of note was that the hands with the tonfa blades actually has a little receptacle spot for them to attach to the gauntlet area the sighting tonfa hand actually has a different contact point where it sits inside of the gauntlet here as well so it's not too hard to confuse them if you end up totally lost the hands with the weapons actually have a different type slot than these blades do so something to keep in mind and also you can see here this is the nice little plugs that you can put in there and if you're really clever and crafty what you could probably do is actually put magnets on the inside of those put some magnets on here and magnets on the wings and you golden them in that case just like most of the other creature caster models our lord of slaughter can probably sit on a 50 millimeter base quite comfortably i don't have one handy for some reason i usually do is that 50 close enough so you can see if you want it off the ground i got a weird thing even though it's flat on the bottom i know i need to clean that up a bit better i don't like having painted edges actually touching the tabletop because they do tend to scuff but that's just one of my weird pet peeves so yeah design wise he definitely fits in with the other dudes in the line here that are part of the whole lore, lore war slaughter malice and bloodletting in case you're curious here is the king of war with him and you can see then things start to get a whole lot different in size but yeah king of war is absolutely gigantic with those ridiculous wings of his so also has a much more exponentially larger uh, price tag to go with it in case you're curious about other expensive models you can see here that they're not that different it's actual height which is kind of crazy i think it's the wings if you did go ahead and include the wings i think he'd probably give our scar brand here a good run for the money in terms of size and volume so an interesting thought and a much well different unique just as nicely crafted solution if you're looking for a big greater demon like that overall though i'm pretty pleased with it yeah, he's a little on the smaller side of the big demons since he's missing his wings. But you know what? I thought, why not? Why not do something different like that? I always put the wings on. So and I'm thinking instead of the reds, usually I'm going to go with purples. I want to paint a dark purple demon. I don't know why, but that's what I'm sticking to. And hopefully it turns out decent. Fingers crossed. It's not like I don't have another 20 something plus creature caster models. It seems that are in dire need of painting, but Funny enough, he may end up getting to it first just because I think it's going to be a lot simpler to do. So hopefully we'll see him finish soon. With that said, this is High Lord Tamburlaine with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.